Chili Bowl. I know there's some neighbors who wanted to talk about that. Um, it is, uh, we're not sure exactly what's going on. We don't think it's going to be demolished, but it might be dismantled and stored, dismantled and stored in parts. We don't know exactly. We don't think it's going to be demolished and turned into dust. That's what the, uh, the owners have told uh, Lynn over at the councilman's office. So some neighbors are concerned about that. So um, let's hear from them. I see Kim and Richard, you guys want to talk or Esoteric or Emma? So I will start with you, Richard. Go ahead. Oh, hello. Can everyone hear me? Yes. yes. Hi, my name is Richard Shade. I am a preservation advocate and I grew up in the neighborhood. This is one hot mess. I really don't quite understand where this board is or if this board even cares about the fate of the chili bowl. But I'm here to tell you that this is an original 1935 structure built by Art Wizen, who built out the Chili Bowl chain. It's a tremendous example of programmatic architecture. And this hot mess has been caused by Mike Bonin's office, by Len Wynn, and by Jason Douglas. They have actively discouraged the landmarking process, and they have helped the owners get to a place where they're about to cut the building up and move it several feet on the site, which will completely destroy the integrity of the structure any chance of it being relocated and cherished as a programmatic structure integral to the history of Los Angeles. I'm completely baffled by this. I have been in the trenches with Jason for almost a year and I'm disgusted that this is where we are with this. This is just a mess and they need to stop the demolition, which is supposed to start tomorrow at 7 a.m. They need to keep the building intact. The Los Angeles Conservancy, Adrian Scott, Fine, the director of advocacy, has been pounding on the doors of everyone's office he can, with my wife and I and many other people, to get them, get this off the property because they refuse to have it landmark, and save it, and it's not happening. And it's just, it's a mess. Okay. All right. Uh, Emma, you have the floor. Ask to one. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, my name is Emma Rolt. I am uh, based in San Pedro, where I'm a member of the Central San Pedro Neighborhood Council. I'm also spearheading a community-led effort in San Pedro to landmark Walker's Cafe, which is a uh, 1946 uh, legacy business um, based in Point Furman. And um, I just, I'm here tonight to speak out in support of the Chili Bowl and to urge everyone with uh, the ability to make a difference in this situation to do whatever they can to make sure it's saved. Um, I'm originally from uh, the Netherlands. I've lived all over Europe before ending up in LA and there's nowhere like LA for these kind of unique, funky roadside restaurants for programmatic architect LA's identity. They are beloved by people, people make specific pilgrimages to see them. And in this case, there's a very clear, straightforward solution, which is simply for this property to be re relocated. Um, and so I just want to, again, express my heartfelt desire that, you know, some path forward is found that makes that possible because it would be, it, it would just be devastating if this place is lost. All right, does anyone else want to speak on it? Kim or anyone? Okay. All right. Um, I have a, I put a, I put a motion on the agenda if I can find now. Yeah, where is it? Anyways, um, there, there was a proposal to land market and uh, CD11 opposed it. It may, may have been due to the land developer threatening to sue the city for uh, slow entitlements and they were worried about uh, um, di different decisions being thrown out because they were delayed by COVID and the city not, you know, being able to like approve projects and put conditions on them and limit them. Um, I'm not, I don't know, ex 
exactly because I'm not in the midst of it. But um, if I can find my agenda, here we go, we'll share this. Um, I put on a motion. Let me see exactly what it says. We'll be done soon, guys. I know it's late. Um, where is it? Haven't we already passed? We did in support of it. So this motion is for request that the owner not demolish the Shirley Bowl because the demolition permit is issued. And ask the owner to collaborate with our council office to find a new site to preserve it. Because originally we wanted to preserve it on site and they uh, reneged on their offer to do that. And so uh, the only alternative now is to find a new site. And you know, like we were discussing, we don't know. We're pretty sure they're not. We don't think they're going to demolish it into dirt and dust tomorrow. They may be taking it off. They said they're taking it off the foundation so they can move it. I don't know if they're going to like just request that they find a plan and do something. So they should put it on Bundy and Santa Monica a little park there. That's one idea. Yeah. yeah. That would be a yeah, that was, that was being discussed for a while. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. 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 I think that would I be. Well, you can make it into like the West LA uh, Tell Museum or something, you know. Make a new chili bowl. Make a new chili yeah. bowl. Anyway, yes. here's my motion. Does anyone second it? Soup. Find right. the park. All right. All right. Any, any discussion? Yeah. Uh, so we already voted to support it. Um, you know, and if we go ahead and vote to support it again, uh, I'm just wondering. So what's the biggest barrier? Is it uh, like who's going to foot the bill to relocate right. it? Who's going to store it? I, I'm, I'm assuming that's probably why the city. Does, is does anybody have any idea right? how much it costs so, to to move the bill into relocation? But uh, how about just the, the the triangle park? Like that's just a yeah. mile. You have to pour footings for it. Well, yeah, at least a hundred thousand bucks for something. Go ahead, Richard. All these discussions of moving structure have been in the works for well over nine months. The city has really dropped the ball on any sort of serious plan to get this moved. And, and and I really don't want them to cut it up into pieces tomorrow and move it five feet. It will it will just be worthless. It's just it's just tragic. And and the city the city can alleviate a lot of the costs of house moving, which is why I raise hands because I've moved two houses in my life. The city can alleviate a lot of the cost of house moving by waiving the fees of removing electrical lines that are in the way of moving the structure. And that that's a major that's a major component in any consideration for moving a house. And CD eleven has the ability to put that on the table, and I've yet to see that being put on the table. All right, well, someone asked, have, have they voted? Have they voted for a budget for it, or has the developer offered to help with any other payment? Uh, because I'm no, guessing that's why it's am I, am I the being city, asked, is that no I, one wants to pay for it, and, and that's why no one is kind of acting on it. That, this is just my guess, but. That, that's, that's not correct. Okay. That, that, that's, not. That's, that's, that's not correct. I, I don't want this board to make decisions based assumptions that, about that, what you just said. That's just not true. So, so, so what, is someone so I, I who mean, has? Yeah, do you have yeah, information? Because <laughs> I'll vote. I'll vote to support it again. And I, I remember the presentation. I, I thought it was fantastic. But uh, I'm just thinking logistically. You know, like we can we can vote to approve it, but we're an advisory board until the city kind of puts a budget or you know, for actually some someone is going to put the bill and you know put it into storage or put it into the right place because it, it's not going to be moved to you know the Bundy Triangle overnight or anything like that. Yeah. Have you, Richard? Have you had any contact with uh, uh, Bonin about any of this? He's never acknowledged anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I do not have a personal relationship with Mike Bonin. I have been in direct communication with Len Wynn and Jason Douglas for almost a year on this. I have been in direct communication with Daniel Friedman, the land use attorney for the Jane family, that has been 
at this board to discuss this meeting. And since he gave me a raspberry about three weeks ago and said he didn't want to talk to me because he feels that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into him in the playground, that that front is dead. And that's effectively killed any communication that exists between the Los Angeles Conservancy who has a plan to move it if only there was communication, which CD11 conveniently continues to ignore and pretend that as policymakers, it is not their job to facilitate a line of communication around this issue and just hope it goes away, which it will. They're correct. Is this the conservancy? Is that uh, institute that you mentioned, are they the ones that are providing funding and kind of taking the initiative to house it and store it after? The conservancy, I do not represent the conservancy. I have been in a numerous meetings with Adrian Scott, Fine, the director of advocacy, advocacy for the Los Angeles Conservancy, and I am aware of several plans that have potential funding by the conservancy to move this structure, but there is no communication and CD11 refuses to build, rebuild the line of communication to get this project, to get the Chili Bowl into a better place. Oh, we need money and we need a place. So Richard, do you think, do you think there is money available? I, 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 Jay, Jay, I will repeat myself. I am aware of several yeah. different plans that involve funding and relocation which the Conservancy cannot put on the table because there is no table yeah. for which to come to at this point. Okay, well, that's that's kind of what the, the motion addresses. It asks um, the owner and city council. I mean, is that the issue? We, we want to get them together to collaborate, to find a new site, and then I guess fund it? Is that, is that a little... I, I would like to put a motion forward in all neighborhood councils that the city of Los Angeles actually act as effective policymakers, but that's beyond the scope of this meeting. Right. But yes, I think I think that Council District 11 has completely failed to address this problem. And they're the ones that are at fault. And if they would just step up to the plate and bring everyone back to the table, I believe this could be solved very quickly. And it doesn't have to be cut up. Yeah. It doesn't have to be cut up to destroy its integrity. I don't know why it has to be cut up to be moved five feet on a lot that has edge parking as it will have once the chili bowl oh, is moved five feet. Either. So, uh, as a, as no, I, I, need, I believe the motivation is that if there is no historic structure on the site, if I did the fact that there is no HCM because Council District 11 rejected it. If there's no historic structure site, there is no CEQA review, which will save the developer a considerable amount of money to not have to pay for an environmental impact report and go through the CEQA process itself on top of the cost of the EIR. I believe is the goal, okay. and that idea is what Council District 11 is facilitating. And I, yeah, find I understand that. So as a as the body that has on multiple occasions asked the motion to step in CD11 to support saving the goal. And with a motion on the table that requests to say not demolish the chili bowl and collaborate with CD11 to find, I mean, would you like us to add or to collaborate with the Conservation Commission and CD11? I'm just not totally no, understanding why this doesn't say that you are asking us to do. I, I think your resolution is fine. I'm simply yep. clarifying to the board questions that I'm asked. I think the motion. I think the motion is fine. I just appreciate it, which is a hustle to alleviate the burden of a sequel review of this parcel, which has no existing project on it, by the bar owners, which Council District 11 is facilitating. Yep, I understand. Yeah, I understand exactly what you're saying now, Richard. Thank you. So, all right. Does that make sense to everyone so far? Okay. All right. We have a motion. We have a second. Um, who votes to support the motion? Raise your hand. Jay, Dave, Galen. All right. Second. Okay. Is that a unanimous 6-0? Anyone opposes? All right. 
you know, we're going to have our board meeting next Wednesday night, Richard. I don't know if it's too late, but uh, you know, I'll send you the info. And, and usually that one, we get a council representative, so we didn't have 